Hmm. I wonder what lives here. Let's take a closer look in the plants and see what we discover. There are so many plants and animals living together in this habitat. Let's make a habitat of our own. Let's start by adding some rocks and branches. Tap on the book if you want to hear about the things you can add to your habitat. Let's keep going. Plants. Flowers. Now we can choose a plant to add. You can always use my book to learn more information. Tap on the things in the tray to learn about them. When you are ready to add something, tap the book to close it. Fl Flowers have a watery liquid inside called nectar that many ant Flowers have... Leafy plants are good food for lots of bugs. Put something from the tray into the habitat. Flowers have a watery juice inside called nectar. I wonder what animals will drink it. Let's look around. Wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. Now we get to add animals. Lots of different animals live together here. Let's pick one and learn what happens. Worm. Leaf cutter ant. The ant's sharp mouth parts help them cut leaves into smaller pieces. Earthworms have an important job in making soil healthy for plants. And they're also food for other animals. The ants' sharp mouth parts help them cut leaves into smaller pieces so they can carry them. Earthworms make tunnels by eating the soil. I notice each time we add to the habitat, new plants and animals can live there. Roly-poly. Tiger beetle larva. Roly-polies help keep soil healthy by eating things that are old and rotting. Look, we're going up. I wonder what we'll discover. Different animals can be found living here. I wonder what we'll find. Oak tree hopper. Two striped grasshopper. Grasshoppers get around by jumping and flying. I wonder what other ways bugs can move around. We can take a closer look at the plants and animals with this magnifying glass. Move the magnifying glass over a plant or animal and click it to see it up close. Roly polies are small and have seven sets of legs. I notice the earthworm's body is made of many parts that look like rings. I noticed the two-striped grasshopper has two lines that go down its back. That must be how it got its name. <laughs> 